Question 22. A frustum is made by removing a small cone from a large cone, as shown in the diagram. The frustum is made from glass, and the glass has a density of 2.5 grams per centimetre cubed. We need to work out the mass of the frustum. Give your answer to a pro an appropriate degree of accuracy. So the small cone here has to have a height of 5 centimetres, since it's 15, take 10. Let's figure out the volume of both cones, and then we'll know the volume of the frustum. From there, we can use that to calculate the actual mass. For this, we need to know the radius of the small cone. We know the radius of the large cone here is 6 centimetres, but there's no way to work out this radius, unless we use the fact that both these cones are similar shapes. So we have the length scale factor here. We have that this small one is 5 times smaller than the large one, so the scale factor is multiplying by 3, going from the small one to the large one. If we know that there's, the scale factor is a multiple of 3 for length, so this one must be 6 centimeters divided by 3, which is 2 centimeters. First, let's find the volume of the large cone. So, I'll call that VL, and that's a third times pi times the radius squared, which is 6 squared, times the height, which is 15, and that gives us 180 pi. I'll leave it in terms of pi for now because it'll make our calculations more accurate later on. If you want the volume of the small cone, we can either use the formula here, or we can use the scale factor here. If we're using the scale factor, we take the volume of the large cone, and divide by the scale factor, but cubed. If we want to find the volume scale factor for anything, we take the length scale factor, and cube it. That's 180 pi over 27. So, the volume of the frustrum, I'll call that VF, is the difference between these two. So the difference between those on a calculator, if we do 180, take 120 over 27, 180 over 27, that's 520 over 3 pi. From here, we need to work out the mass. We know the formula density is mass over volume. And if we're not sure about that, we can look at the units for density here. We have a mass uh, in grams, divided by a volume. So, if we want to know the mass, we need to rearrange. So that's mass is density times volume. We're given the density is 2.5 grams per centimeter cubed. So we need to multiply the value of volume in centimeters cubed. That's 520 pi over 3. And that gives us an answer of 1,400 grams significant figures.